Hey there, Sleeping Amy family, and welcome back to Mailbag Monday. I'm really excited because we got some mail today that I can't wait to show you. And all of them from returning people to Mailbag Monday, people you've seen once, maybe multiple times here on the channel. So, <laughs> and I'm especially excited because I think we're going to complete uh, Obsidian Flames today. So, let's get cracking into the mail and see what we have for Mail Bag Monday. <laughs> the first two, because she sent these separate since they were two different ones, are from Rayquaza. And, and one of these, we'll see which one it is. She was super nice. She sent me one of these to help me finish Obsidian Flames. And she didn't have to. And it's not going to be this first one, it'll be the second one. I also got a promo from her claim sale, or recent claim sale. <laughs> she does such an excellent job. She always has so many cards that I want. <laughs> okay. I just got the one this time. And she sent a thank you with that Lapras with some cute stickers. She always sends cute stickers as well. And the card I got from her stock sale was the Raichu Sun and Moon promo, full art promo. Working on some of these Sun and Moon promo cards. This one was really cool. So I decided to pick that up and I was able to snipe the last one, I think, in her sale. So really like that Raichu card. They did a good job with Raichu. So I'm gonna leave that one right there. And I'm kind of curious what stickers, other stickers she sent. Oh, but we got Buneary. <laughs> no, Bunnelby. Sorry, Bunnelby. It was the other one that starts with a B. <laughs> All right, we're gonna stick that here. Put our stickers to the side. And this is the other one that I got from her. She just sent this to me because I needed this promo card from Obsidian Flames. And she was just kind enough to send it to me. So thank you so much, Ray. <laughs> All right. And it is the Mawal pre-release promo. I was trying to trade for it for a little bit. I had an extra Togekiss card, but just decided to ask around, see if anybody had one. And she did, and she went ahead and sent it to me, which was awesome. It was the only one I wasn't able to get myself or trade with um, my friend Misty. So I'm very, very thankful that she sent that to me. So <laughs> thank you so much, Ray, for the long while as well, and as well as the stack sale so I can grab the right you. Okay, the next one, this one was a uh, purchase. And it is from Poke Mondo. And I think there's a couple cards in here. Of course, we have his info there if you guys want to go see. I always have the Twitter handles down below as well for you guys to go check out their pages. Just go into Twitter and type in their Twitter handle. And the first one to add to my Gardevoir collection is the Mega Gardevoir EX Full Art. This one, I think, maybe from Primal Clash. There's several Gardevoir and XY, so some kind of blend together. So some's in Primal Clash, some's in Steam Siege. I think this one's from Primal Clash. And the other one is from Sun and Moon Base, the Embryon GX Rainbow Rare. And he had really good deals on these cards too. This was one I've been hunting for a while as well. <laughs> it's a really pretty card. I know, I think I've shown off a fake one before on the channel, but this one is definitely real. I already have the Espeon and now the Umbreon, and it might be a new, uh, a new mission of mine to hunt down the other rainbows and full arts of the evolutions, which would just be the Sylveon, Leafeon, and Glaceon. They did not make all the evolutions for <laughs> Sun and Moon, it was just the Johto, Sinnoh, and the Kalos evolutions. So it'll be fun to hunt those down. Uh, the only rainbows of these I have right now are the Umbreon and the Espeon, but I, we can surely hunt down the Glaceon, Leafeon, and Sylveon. 
as well as the full arts. I would have to check to see if I have any of those full arts. I know I have the Umbreon since my mic kit got me that one. We'll have to check for any of the others. <laughs> All right, moving along. We got, this one is from John the Ginger. And this one, I also bought it. Let's see. Just a thank you from John the Ginger. And this is actually from Hidden Fates and it is the shiny Zorark GX. <laughs> Got a little tongue tied there. It is a promo card actually. It's hard to find it on Pokelexer. I think I looked it up and didn't see it. You can definitely miss it. It is on TCG Player listed as an Ultra Art promo, but as the Shiny Zork GX came uh, in one of the collection boxes for Hidden Fates. And I'm working on getting the uh, Shiny promo cards as well. I think for Hidden Fates total, I think I'm down to four full art Shiny cards, which is amazing. It was a set I don't think I'd ever finish. <laughs> uh, just with the help of seeing the cards around the community and definitely help for my mind camp. I'm getting really close to finishing it. Uh, Charizard is on that list of I still need to get and I'm sure it's probably going to be the last card I get. <laughs> I'm creating an entire binder full of shiny cards, kind of like my own shiny vault binder. So I have the shining cards from Shining Legends in there, one of which I'm missing is the Shining Lugia, the shining cards from Hidden Fates, and the shining cards from Shining Fates, which is actually finished. I have every shiny vault card from Shining Fates. But oh, we're very close to Hidden Fates and just that one from Shining Legends. Other than that would be cards that would come out recently and vintage cards, which vintage cards are hard to come by. I only have one of those shiny vintage cards and that is the Noctowl. Those would be definitely grail cards to get. <laughs> and certainly not one of those I would be seeking out first, I would say. <laughs> Definitely on a side, lesser side mission to do. <laughs> uh, but it is a set I wanted to finish for a while, the Hidden Fates one. Okay. Alright, so the next piece of mail is from Karmic Rips. And let's see. And this one is also from Hidden Fates. I got a couple of them this week. And I think a couple of the ones I still lack are some of the cheaper ones. And he also sent a thank you card. So we'll look at that first. It is a Japanese hollow uh, Toxicroak. I was almost gonna say Krogunk, but Toxicroak. <laughs> and it has a swirl in it. Well, actually, Go ahead and take it out. I have another sleeve, we can put it in there. I guess this is one that was up on a stack sale, but this is a really pretty card. This is beautiful. So that's really awesome. You can see the swirl down on the bottom. And it's one of those, it's definitely one I haven't seen before. So that's really awesome. <laughs> and it's from 2009 set. I'm trying to think might be black and white era I think I think it's black and white era if it's not Sinnoh still um, but we will put that right up there <laughs> I appreciate the freebies <laughs> and we also have the Greninja GX this is a apparently a difficult one to pull from Hidden Fates I know I watch a lot of uh, Pokeytubers, one of them being Real Breaking Nate, he had a tough time pulling this card. And uh, I think this was a very nice deal that Cormac Ripps had on this card, so I went ahead and just snagged it. Um, a couple of the others I'm gonna be trying to look for. I thought I had the Nail Hill Ego Shiny. Could not find it. I guess I thought I had it. I just marked it off, but I just don't have it. So Nail Hill Ego and Altario are probably ones I'll be trying to scoop up real quick and another one I'm looking for is the scissor those are probably the cheaper of the four for sure <laughs> of the fuller shinies I can still get from uh, hidden fates and after that's the Charizard so 
All right, we are down to our last one. <clears throat> and I wanted to say this one for last because it's very special. Since it was from Hunter and Anthony Severs. And he sent me a very, very nice note. And I wanted to share it with you guys. <laughs> he was just very happy. Note says, happy to help you with Hound Art Collection and thank you for helping me learn more about collecting Pokemon so I can better understand my son's passion for Pokemon, Hunter and Anthony. P.S. He loves hearing his name on your videos. <laughs> and I appreciate Hunter. He seems to have Hunter and Anthony. Hunter seems to have a lot of luck in pulling the uh, cards that I would like to make a page of. So this time around it was Hound Hours and goodness, he has some luck, I will tell you. <laughs> I feel like he's better luck than me in pulling these cards because I'll be able to pull like one or two and then it's just I can't ever pull them, I gotta go find them. <laughs> he helped get the majority I think of my Starlies and my Rookies. You guys will see the pages. But goodness, <laughs> he was able to find pretty much the entire, all the hound hours that I needed. So, <laughs> he has some amazing luck. They do post up some cards for sale. Usually it's underneath other stack sale posts or other trade posts. So, if you guys are looking for some cards in Obsidian Flames, more recent sets, keep an eye on like my trade posts or any posts that's he may have because uh, they do get a lot of luck <laughs> and they package these really well I'm just trying to get some of this tape off all right and I think a few other people in the community have traded with uh, Hunter Hunter and Anthony as well okay this is the first stack <laughs> all right and we got Hound Hour, and he put all these in several ones too. We got one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six Hound Hours in this one. I know he sent me more. Six little puppers here. <laughs> got all those, and those are all going into the binder. <laughs> all right. And I will show you guys the complete binder at the very end. Oh, yeah, more tape. <laughs> and I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, booster pack shorts. I thought it would be nice to just kind of slowly work on those rather than open up the entire thing. And we got three more Hound Hours. <laughs> we have the Sidueye. And we have two revert the three reverses I was actually missing. Out of all the packs that I opened that you guys saw me open on the channel, um, <laughs> there's actually three reverses I was missing. I was quite surprised, and so was my gift. Yeah, we both figured I would have pulled all the reverses, but there were three missing, as well as one EX I still haven't pulled. And that was the Decidueye EX, one of my kind of my favorite Pokemon, to be honest. Definitely my favorite starter, I would say. Uh, <laughs> I do love the Rallet line. I'm, I'm definitely <laughs> have a favoritism towards the Rallet line. There's other starters I do like. I do like the War Turtle, as we have our War Turtle in the back there. <laughs> and uh, I will say my mic got me that War Turtle, which makes it extra special to me. <laughs> uh, we have the Sidueye, and then we have our three reverses, which were the Finizen, the Oinkalone, and Umbreon. <laughs> wasn't able to pull those for some reason <laughs> but as always thank you uh hunter and anthony for just the amazing <laughs> cards you guys are awesome i know you guys pull pretty much the entire set yourself so i didn't really have anything to trade but i do appreciate you guys being able to just have all these extras <laughs> that i could get from you guys <laughs> uh to purchase from you guys and I hope 
you guys are able to collect more of the cards too. Maybe not just the modern stuff, maybe more of the Sun and Moon cards because I know I traded them some tag teams that were awesome. So I would love to see Hunter's collection, <laughs> see how it's coming along. And I know they are both excited for the next set to come out, as well as me, the 151, which will be uh, this Friday. <laughs> and I do have some stuff pre-ordered, but we are going to have to hunt for some stuff out at GameStops on release day. We're going to try to get that Trimander promo. And we're also going to try to hit up Best Buy, see if we can't get that Bulbasaur promo as well. But thank you all so much for tuning in to Mailbag Monday. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourself here. If you would, hit that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I don't want to be putting out shorts every single day, including weekends, until the end of the year. So uh, <laughs> be anticipating that. I'll have at least something up on the channel every single day. <laughs> but until Wednesday's big video, take care, sleep well, and good night. Hey there, Sleepy Annie family. Almost forgot. We have the complete master set. Another master set is down for Scarlet and Violet. And honestly, I did not anticipate finishing it this quickly. I thought we would be opening up Obsidian Flames while we were opening up 151. I did not anticipate finishing it just in time for 151 to come out. But hey, if we can always open up more Obsidian Flames packs as they come into collection boxes. So we have every single card, every single reverse, that's one of the ones from Hunter. Every single EX in here. All the cards. <laughs> and it's just an awesome feeling to have another master set done. And here we are with the illustration rares, all these, and we have a couple of our puppers on this page. And here is the big page of all the puppers. Wanted to showcase the Houndour card. Love that card. And we already have in mind the one that we're gonna do for 151. We did not pick the Pidgey or Pidgeot because, you know, they're birds. Because if you, we can't just do Pidgey, we'd have to do every single one. And being that that line is very playable, we went with Houndour because it's very cute as well. <laughs> so we have all these full arts as well the gold, and <clears throat> excuse me, that's the end of the binder. I put a couple of sleeves in here, just kind of showcase the sleeves as well. And then we have all of our promo cards that came out. All those, the one from Ray, and then these promos as well, the Best Buy and GameStop promos. <laughs> and these, I guess technically aren't promos, they're just hollows, but I went ahead and put them with those. So uh, thank you guys so much for going on this journey with me. Thank you to the community for helping me put together this master set for the trades and for the purchases. So <laughs> just wanted to show it off. And as always, take care, sleep well, and good night.